Hi everyone, I'm Kaya with exercisesforinjuries.com. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to take you through some stretches and exercises to help determine if your hip and back pain is originating from the hip joint. So sometimes pain around the hip and back can create similar sensations of pain. So I'm going to take you through a few exercises you can do to help you determine if you are having um, hip joint pain. And then if you decide that you do and you need to loosen up the muscles around the hip, I'll give you a few stretches for that as well. So the first thing we're going to do to determine if the hip joint is involved in our pain is go through three stretches and we're looking for pain that is in the groin area or in the front of the hip, usually the outer hip. That's where we have lots of muscles, so as we stretch, it's natural to feel uh, discomfort in those areas as we stretch the muscles. So we're looking more for pain in the groin area as we go through these stretches. So we're gonna start with a single leg uh, knee to chest stretch. So coming to lie down, I'm going to pull my right knee in towards my chest, left leg lengthens out, and I'm looking for pain in the groin or the front of the hip here. So just giving yourself some time in this stretch to determine if there is pain here and then you can also test it out on the other side all right next is a um, foot point so we're going to bring um, the one leg up here to a 90 degree bend and i'm going to keep my leg in this 90 degree position as I rotate at the hip. So from my um, ankle to my knee, that's staying exactly where it is. I'm rotating from my hip, bringing my foot towards the center of my body and then out to the side. And again, we're looking for that pain in the hip joint area, in the groin, as we move through this hip internal and external rotation. And then we'll come on to the other side. Same thing, we're keeping our knee at that 90 degree bend rotating at the hip all right our last um, test stretch here is a knee out so I'm going to bring my right ankle over my left knee and allow my hips to fall over to the left my right hips coming off the floor here but my left hips planted and I'm looking for any pain in the right hip specifically in the groin area, holding for a little while here, 20 to 30 seconds, and come back to center, and then checking on the other side, left ankle over right knee, falling over to the right here, looking for pain in the um, left hip. And remembering you'll probably feel some discomfort in pulling on the outside of the hip as the muscles and tendons stretch, but we're looking for pain in the actual joint and in the groin and then coming back through center. So those are your three uh, stretches there to test out if your pain's originating from the hip joint. And if you decide you need to remedy that and have, have find some treatment to strengthen and lengthen the hip flexor muscles, we're going to go through those three now. So the first one is a butterfly pose. So coming to sit, feel free to put something underneath you here like a, a pillow or a folded up blanket to sit up higher. Soles of the feet come together, sitting up nice and tall. And then if you need to deepen it, hinging forward at the hips, pressing the knees down away from you, holding for 10 to 20 seconds, stretching into the hip and groin area. All right, number two is bridge pose. So coming onto your back. Heels are just close enough that you can feel the backs of them. We're gonna press into the heels, lift the hips up to the ceiling, squeeze the glutes, and the more we squeeze the glutes, the more the hip flexors will be able to open. So hold and breathe here for 10 to 30 seconds. So we're strengthening our back body and opening up our front body. And then slowly releasing. And our final exercise this one will help strengthen our hip flexors is a knee hold so coming to stand we're going to find a slight bend in our left leg as we lift our right knee the upper part of our leg towards the ceiling balancing on one leg maybe finding something to look at on the floor 
for 30 seconds, strengthening the right hip flexor here. And then after the 30 seconds is up, lifting the left upper leg towards the ceiling, strengthening through the left hip flexor. 30 second hold, and then once that's complete, releasing down. So there you go, I hope that helps you determine if your pain is originating from the hip joint. I hope you try these out and you find them useful. Make sure to check out exercisesforinjuries.com for more resources, and I hope I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.